So a few days back, word got out that Samsung might be getting ready to drop a new smartwatch with a square display. Now there's some fresh rumor floating around about the Galaxy Watch 7 series and if it's true, Samsung could really shake things up. What's up guys, Sal here. So according to this tipster, we might finally getting not just one or two but three versions of the Galaxy Watch 7. The base model, the classic and the pro. That would be a first for Samsung, releasing three versions at once. But hold up, what's the difference between these bad boys? Well, word on the street is that Samsung might be switching things up with rectangular displays for the Galaxy Watch 7 lineup. Picture this, maybe the Pro versions rock the square display, while the regular Watch 7 and the Watch 7 Classic stick to the circular vibe. Or maybe they all go rectangular, except the Classic because you can't have a rotating bezel in a square frame. Honestly, it's all just speculation for now. The Sleeker isn't exactly a household name, so take it with a grain of salt. But man, wouldn't it be cool to have more choices? Samsung's been dropping three S-series phones and now three foldables at a time. So why not three smart watches, right? For me, battery life is a big deal when it comes to picking a smart watch. That's why I love the Watch 5 Pro. That thing could last per day, so you can bet I'm keeping an eye out for any hints about a new Pro model dropping this year. Fingers crossed this rumor pans out. Oh and get this, the Watch 7 series is supposed to come out with a 3 nanometer chip for the first time ever. Rumor has it, it's gonna be way faster and more efficient, like 50% more power efficient and 30% faster. Pair that with a beefier battery in the Watch 7 Pro and we might be looking at a game changer in battery life. Can't wait to see if it's true. Now if you don't know already, Samsung is giving away a free Freestyle Gen 2 projector to hype their new TV launch. Only less than 20 hours left to get in on it. Put your name and email and sign up. You don't need to pay or put your card info. If you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description. Moving on, if you have the Watch 4, 5 or 6, here's some good news. Google is rolling out an update to Google Maps for Wear OS which now will show you public transit options to reach a location. So with this new cool feature on Google Maps, when you look up a place, you'll see this new thing called transit along with driving, walking and cycling options. Click on transit and it will tell you how to get there using buses or trains. It even shows you where the closest station is, which bus or train to hop on and when they're coming and going. With that being said, the S25 Ultra will be the world's first smartphone to get this feature. Click here to know more and I'll see you there.